Hey guys, and welcome to this video on logical equivalence. So here we want to prove that not, not P or not Q and P is logically equivalent to P and Q. So let's go ahead and get started by first using De Morgan's law to rewrite the expression. So here I'm going to write De Morgan's law. And it basically states that if we have not P or Q, then that expression is logically equivalent to not P and not Q. So if we re rewrite our expression, we get not, not P and not, not Q and P. All right, next we're going to use the double negation law. So double negation law. And it basically states if we have not not P, then that's logically equivalent to P. So let's rewrite our expression again. And now we get P and not not Q and P. Okay, and let's use that law again to get rid of the other uh, not or the other two knots actually. So we're going to use the double negation law, which again states that we have not not P, then that's logically equivalent to P. So now our expression will look like the following. We have P and Q and P. Okay. Next, let's use the commutative law to switch around the P and Qs here. Our propositions. So the commutative law basically states that we have P and Q, then that's logically equivalent to us having Q and P. So I'm just switching around the propositions. So let's rewrite our expression. We get Q and P and P. Now let's use the associative law. which basically states that if we have an expression like the following, P and Q and R, then that's logically equivalent to us having P and Q and R. Just notice that the parentheses changed. Okay, so now if we rewrite our expression, we get Q and P and P. And now we can use the endempotent law. Endempotent law, which basically states if we have P and P, then that's logically equivalent to us having P. All right, so now if we rewrite our expression, we get Q and P. And then we're going to use the commutative law again to rearrange our propositions. All right, and the commutative law again states that if we have P and Q, then it's logically equivalent to us having Q and P. So I'm going to rewrite our expression here and we get P and Q. And of course, this is logically equivalent to just saying P and Q. All right. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. I'm sure it'll be helpful for others as well. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.